Hello everyone, please excuse my funny sounding voice and complete lack of visual on me. I've got a cold and I just had enough strength to play a little Splatoon and record some audio here. I just wanted to give you my first impressions on Splatoon 2, even though I'm sick. Um, it, it could be like a thing. Be like, YouTubers preview games while they're sick. It's a thing. It's like it's like hot pepper gaming. It's got a, these are my my first sick pressure, my first phlegm pressions. That is the worst thing I've ever said. Anyway, first up, it's always good to talk about the visuals. Uh, now, the new graphics on Splatoon 2 are pretty easy to miss. You go into the game, it's got the same fun, colorful style as the first one. Looks almost identical, but then when I looked a little bit more closely and then I like went back and looked at footage from the first game, the, the difference is really obvious. Mostly the difference is in the resolution. I think the other one was locked at 720p and this one is outputting 1080p, I believe and uh, everything just looks way more smooth and nice, and even a lot of the character models have been kind of tweaked a little bit, and everything is just uh, just much easier to take. It's very nice. The first one, you know, they wanted to put a bigger emphasis on the performance, which is great, so they couldn't quite hit that resolution, but here everything is just uh, very nice, very shiny. If I did notice one difference without having to even look at the old footage, though, it was the paint. The paint has this uh, really nice new sheen to it. Uh, the paint in the first game, it kind of just mostly looked like goop, but this actually looks kind of like wet paint. It's got that that warbly little effect, and uh, it just it just looks really nice. That one right off the bat, I, I sprayed down some ink, and I'm just like, whoa, it's so shiny and nice. The style, as always, is really nice. Uh, I like all the new clothes, and I really like the new hairstyles. I just, I know it's a very small change, but uh, just being able to have, like, what is it? three or four different hairstyles per person. I don't know, they just look really good and it really helps to uh, differentiate individual people's avatars a little bit better. So that performance, my gosh, I don't know how they were able to get such beautiful smooth visuals and still have the performance so silky smooth. I mean, it's perfect. Uh, I played Turf War only, I didn't play any uh, any of the other battle ones or whatever. I just did Turf War, I did a couple matches of those enough to get up to level four. And uh, the connection, for one, was really perfect. Like. When I played Mario Kart 8, when there were more people on because the game had just come out, that was when the most strain was on the servers and I had a harder time connecting. Like I would get booted out all the time. Later on down the road, it was easier to connect and I didn't have that problem as much. But like, I got this game right at launch and there have been no problems at all. Like the absolute worst problem I've had was having to wait like 20 or 30 seconds to get like the eighth player to join us. Even with what is probably, no, not even probably, definitely the most strain this game and its servers are ever gonna have, it's been perfect. Connections have been perfect. I can always find a game. I never get booted out, just like with the old one. I don't know if I've ever been straight up booted out, maybe once the other time, but certainly not here yet. And, uh, and then in game, that performance is still perfect. The frame rate is super duper high. I never get that thing where you're like, hey, I shot that guy, but he didn't die, or like this happened, but then it kind of changed because you know, the, the it's got to match up everything that you're doing compared to everyone else. Mario Kart has that problem where sometimes you'll see a guy get hit, but he doesn't get hit, or just little things. It's hard for the game to keep up sometimes, but here it's flawless. It's perfect. Everything I've experienced so far has been completely perfect, even with tons and tons and tons of people all online playing at once. And that is really, really impressive for it to be outputting visuals that nice, that high resolution, still giving us that high frame rate, and then, oh, look at that, we're just connecting to each other perfectly, and it's amazing. Like I said, I only played Turf War, and uh, I only got to sample the first two levels that they had, and it was the, uh, I believe, the skate park and the stage, and uh, the only thing I can say about the stages, they see, I mean, they seemed a little different. I don't know if this is representative of all the stages, but they seemed a lot smaller. Is that just me? Uh, like, uh, especially the stage, like it's really tiny. Like you start in your little chunk, you go over to the main chunk, which isn't very big, and then it's the enemy's chunk. Uh, seems a little, uh, a little bit claustrophobic. And then the skate park one is certainly bigger, but still not, it didn't feel nearly as big as some of the ones from, uh, from the first Splatoon. So I'm not really sure. And also there's uh, not as much verticality. I know I read about this online before I played it, and it is true, there's not nearly as much verticality. You're not climbing up these big, long walls and stuff. And um, I kind of like that. There is there is some, and it feels like it's just enough. That probably helps even things out so people aren't just like running up there and sniping or whatever. And uh, I don't know, it, it makes it a little more, a little more straightforward and a little less wonky trying to, you know, squirt up walls and trying to get up and down and falling all the time. So I don't know, we'll see. I, I need to see more levels, but they certainly seem small. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm into that yet. 
um, it kind of forced everybody together more. It's still four and four, the same number of players. Uh, lots more splatting, lots more combat. I don't know if that's what they were trying to do, is uh, trying to encourage a more combat-heavy Splatoon. I mean, I remember in the old ones, I would just go off and like I could be turfing, just spraying the turf for a long time before I even find someone. I mean, not like a super long time. I would always find people and always have to fight. But in this one, it's just like we are pushed together and there is always a guy all the time. So I'm not super duper keen on that, especially in the stage. Like I said, that one was really, really tiny. I feel like I'm just like fighting guys the whole time and I'm not super good at the fighting. <laughs> I'm better at the inking. So like I get splatted a lot. So there were some games that were a little frustrating. I feel like I spent half my time just respawning. So we'll see, we'll see if that's like the rest of the game too or if it's uh, just those two levels. I'm really enjoying what I've seen of the new specials so far. I mean, I know I haven't seen all of them, but they feel a lot more fair and mostly because so far I haven't seen any invincibility items and that was what completely threw off the balance of the first game. Anything, the shield that goes over you or when you turn into the super squid guy, anything that gave you invincibility temporarily was pretty overpowered because like, you know, you're inking, inking, inking. Oh, I see a guy, I pop that, I kill him because he can't kill me if he doesn't have an invincibility too. And then you keep inking and inking, get it up again. And every time you see a guy, you can pop that invincibility. And uh, I feel like a lot of people had a problem with that. And I'm not sure if that means it's out of the game. I hope that it does because that was lame. But so far, they all seem super fair. Like I haven't seen anything that is completely overpowered. Um, I love the one, I had this in the, the test fire that I played, the one that shoots up into the air and just like rains down on them, but you know, they can get away if they're paying attention. I love, love, love the one where you shoot up into the air and then just like a boom on the ground. That was my favorite. That is probably my favorite so far. Uh, it is good in that situation where you're running up to a guy and like, oh, suddenly we're fighting. I angle myself right and I do that, but it's, they can get away. If they are paying attention and they know about the special, they can kind of run back in time. But if they don't, I splat them. I don't know. It just feels a lot more fair. And it's definitely really fun. I'm super good. I'm like a, a really, I'm like a king of like getting up my special and then dying instantly before I can possibly use it. So I like any kind of special that it's just like pretty much right off the bat. I can just be like, cool, especially the one where it rains down. I get the special, I go, cool, I'll shoot it off right now. <laughs> That's great for, for bad players like me. I don't have to be so strategic about it. So I know there's like a few new uh, weapon categories. Uh, the only one I tried out was the dualies. And I gotta say, I'm really enjoying these. Like uh, I'm, I still need to practice with them a little bit more, but I was in the training a little bit and uh, I really like the concept. I like uh, the whole dodge roll thing. Cause again, I'm terrible at one-on-one -on -one combat whenever I see a guy. So anything that can kind of, you know, shove me out of the way and then you got to aim and then they, they converge so you get more firepower. And uh, I don't know, it's, I'm having a lot of fun with them. I think they, they really help change up the gameplay and they're really going to be interesting to see uh, against other weapons on the field. So Salmon Run, that always was like my very favorite new thing about this game. I mean, it's probably like that for a lot of people. It's the first, it's really the only major, major like new mode that is being brought to the game. And I didn't get to play with any people. I just played the two tutorials, the one where it shows you the basics and then the one where you try to take out one each of the boss Salmonids. And I gotta say, it is fun. Like. I haven't played with anyone yet, but I still really enjoyed it, and I think I just am going to really enjoy it. It's probably going to be my favorite mode. Uh, I love Turf Wars and all that stuff, but I'm not extremely competitive, so I get a little bit tired of uh, just trying to fight other people over and over again. That's why I enjoy single players so much in the first one, because sometimes I get tired of just, like, fighting guys, and I want to just do something fun. And this is great, because it's something fun you can do with other people, but you're not actually competing against them. You're fighting a bunch of cool, nasty salmon guys, and the, the visuals are super interesting here. It's all gross and nasty, and uh, there's a lot of really fun mechanics with all the boss salmonids and the way that they lay out ink and the way you gotta kill them. And uh, when I can get in on one of, the, one of the raids or whatever and get some people involved, that seems like the sort of thing that I'm really gonna enjoy. And if I can ever get three friends with this game and Switches together, I feel like that's probably what we're gonna play always. <laughs> like, whatever we're together, that's probably gonna be it, because that is a heck of a lot of fun. Speaking of single player, I hopped into the pipe and got the story thing out of the way, and I did one of the levels. I think I did level two, because I couldn't find the first one first. And just like everyone is saying, it does seem to be just more of the same. Uh, you know, you go, you find the invisible tanks, and then you jump in, you do the levels, and I'm sure eventually I'll 
get all the zap fish and move to the next stage. So basically the exact same thing, except with a mildly different story. You can't even say it's a different story. It's still just the zap fish got taken. I don't know, maybe there's more with Callie and Marie involved, or if that's just a little bit of narrative flavor, but uh, really it's mostly the same. I'll go into greater detail in the review, and especially once I've you know played through the entire thing. Uh, for the most part though, it's not like a big deal breaker or anything. Like I kind of wish there was more, but I loved the single player so much in the first one, and the one level that I played here was really fun. I, all the splat and I love all the sponges and all the chain reactions with the big bombs and everything. Seems like the same amount of fun as last time, and I feel like I heard online that it's even a little bit longer, so hey, that's cool. I'm pretty into that. Overall, the game seems mostly the same as the first one, and again, I'll talk about it more in the review, but just my first impression is that I think that's okay. Um, I don't know, it could be because I didn't play the first one a ton, like I did have it and I reviewed it and I played it and stuff, but I, I didn't stick around for like every single content update, I didn't rack hundreds of hours into it. Um, so maybe just for me, I'm like, hey, this is this kind of the same game except with some new features and better visuals and stuff, and uh, for me that seems to be okay. I will say that it's pretty nice that there seems to be a significant amount of more content on day one. Like, the, the first game was pretty bare bones. I don't even remember if it had ranked battles at first. I don't think it did. And uh, this one has got three modes of ranked battles, and turf wars, and then just salmon run in general just having that whole entire new thing added to it on day one is pretty cool like before you could kind of get bored doing everything after you play the single player you're waiting for the next update here there is a lot to dive into right away like there feels like enough game here that if even if they didn't bring a whole lot of additional content it wouldn't even be that big of a deal because there's already just so much to do i mean for the most part we just want more like stages and weapons and stuff uh, but as far as modes I do want more modes. I want to play some new uh, ranked match modes that we just haven't even seen before. But this is good. This is a good amount of content. So that was my first like hour and a half with the game. I really cannot wait to dive in and just tear through the whole single player and play a whole bunch of everything and give you my full review. I don't know when it'll happen because reviews tend to take a long time. But I will try to do it as fast as I can. I will try to get through that game and get your review in a timely manner. Though, in the meantime, I am afraid I have to go and lie down and drink some day quill or something. <gasps>